skills and experience and leadership attributes to get that done. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Mitt Romney. Just look at what this man has done in his life. You guys remember the Olympics in the late 1990s in Salt Lake? Yeah, remember how all those reports of waste and abuse and corruption and fraud? Sounds kind of familiar these days. <laughs> what did they do? They called a man in Boston, asked him to move to Salt Lake for a few years and turn it around. Mitt Romney did that. Duty, honor, country, service, and we are all proud and better for that. <laughs> what the man has done in business. Turned around struggling businesses, created 10,000 of jobs, and started successful businesses that we all know today. And by the way, being successful in business, that is a good thing in this country. There's nothing wrong with that. This is a man who knows your experience, and if you have built your business, you build Governor of Massachusetts, just look at the contrast between Governor Mitt Romney and President Barack Obama. Under President Barack Obama, we've had the first downgrade of our credit rating in our history. Family household income's gone down by $4,000 over the last four years. Unemployment's been above 8% for 43 months. 23 million people struggling to find work. And the most partisan acrimonious atmosphere in Washington that we've seen in a generation. When Mitt Romney was governor, the credit rating was improved, unemployment went down, household income went up $5,000, and this man, a conservative Republican of governor of a democratic state, where 87% of the legislators that he had to serve with were Democrats, he didn't demonize them, he didn't demagogue them, he reached across the aisle, treated them with respect, didn't compromise his principles, and he balanced the budget without raising taxes. That's the kind of leadership we need. It's bigger than that, though. We really are at that proverbial fork in the road. It doesn't matter what generation you come from, this is the most important election in your lifetime. And Floridians, I've got to tell you, you have a huge say-so in this. I think you realize how important your state is to the future of our country. We've got a plan for pro-growth economics, pro-growth solutions. We believe in growth and opportunity. That's what the Romney Ryan plan for a stronger middle class is all about. We got energy in this country, let's use that energy in this country. Coal, gas, oil, renewables, all of the above. We got to make sure that people who are in between jobs get the skills they need to get the job that they want, get the career that they need. And right here in Florida, the breadbasket of the South, of the world, we need to make more things in America grow more things in America and sell them overseas by getting trade that works for America, that is absolutely critical. And something that's near and dear to my heart, we just have to cut spending. We can't keep spending money we don't have. is the only net spending cuts the president seems eager to engage is, is to cut national security. Right. How's that working for us? It's the primary responsibility of the federal government as the one he wants to throw overboard first when it comes to taking the pencil out of the budget. Look, we turn on the TV and we see what's going on. 
if there's one thing that this reminds me, it is that peace through strength works. Yeah! need a strong national security. Yeah, if yeah, we yeah. project weakness, they come. If yeah. we are strong, they our adversaries will not test us yeah, and sure. our allies us, will yeah. respect us. Yeah. Yeah. And never forget the fact that most of our jobs come from small businesses. Yeah. We need to champion them. We need to focus on their tax rates, on the regulatory juggernaut that's coming their way. We need growth. We need opportunity. And sending all our power and our money to Washington for them to borrow, for them to spend, for them to print, for them to regulate, it doesn't work. So this means basically one thing. We need a new president, and we need to elect Mitt Romney, the next president of the United States. Let me say this. In closing, it's not just about jobs. It's not just about national defense. It's not just about saving Medicare. It's about saving the American idea. And that idea is so clear, so simple. Let's never forget that America is not just Florida and Wisconsin or Maine and California. America is an idea. It's the only country founded on an idea. Yeah. Yeah. And they said it so well in the declaration, you cannot top it. And sometimes presidents themselves need reminding of this fact. Yeah. Our rights come from nature and nature's God, not from government. Yeah. Yeah. That's the American idea. That's what we're all about. Our founders started this and every generation of veterans since have preserved this for it, and we thank you for that. Yeah. This is that kind of an election. What kind of country do we want to have? What kind of people do we want to be? It is ours to choose. Mitt and I want to respect you by giving you that choice. So here is our commitment. We are not going to duck the tough issues and kick the can down the road. We're going to lead and fix this mess in Washington. Yeah! And we're not going to spend the next four years blaming everything on everybody else. We're going to take responsibility. Yeah! We know who we are, we know what we believe, we know our nation's history, and we're proud of its creed. We are not going to try and transform this country into something it was never intended to be. We are not going to try and replace our founding principles. We're going to reapply our founding principles. That's what we are offering. Friends, Floridians, Mom, we can do this. It is not too late to get this on the right track. With your help, together, we can do this. So let's get this done. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks, 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 Thanks,
<laughs> this is the time to make a difference. Save their future. Save ours. One Romney Ryan. fingernails that say M-I-T-T -T is it. Knit is it 2012.